Shalom. Uh, well, I wanted to start this vlog off with uh, some reading from the Torah. Um, <clears throat> what, what's really cool to me is that, uh, you know, whenever you celebrate the feasts, you know, like people, you know, they uh, do certain, I guess you could say rituals, but, you know, so, you know, different things. They, they go back to the handbook and they read the instructions that, uh, on what to do next and how to do certain things. And uh, I think it's really cool because with the feasts of uh, Yehovah, we can go to, straight to the scriptures and, you know, read what we're supposed to do. Uh, today is uh, Chag Hamatzah, which means uh, the feast or festival of unleavened bread. So I'm going to read the instructions and we're going to follow them. So um, I'm going to start in Leviticus uh, 23, verse 4. <clears throat> Actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to start on verse 6. And on the fifteenth day of the same month, the feast of unleavened bread to Jehovah, seven days you must eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall eat, have a holy convocation, you shall do no customary or occupational work on it. But you shall offer an offering made by fire to Jehovah for seven days. The seventh day is a holy convocation, you shall do no customary or occupational work. Um, now. The one thing about the Torah is that, you know, there, there's instructions in one part, but if you want to get the full picture, you should read the entirety of the Torah. So I'm going to go now to Deuteronomy 16. I'll start in verse 3. You shall eat no leavened bread with it. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread uh, with it. The bread of affliction, for you came out of the land of Egypt in haste, that you may remember the day in which you came out of the land of Egypt all the days of your life, and no leaven shall be seen among you in all your territory for seven days. See, there's a there's an instruction that we didn't see in the first part. Nor shall uh, uh, nor shall any of the meat which you sacrifice the first day at twilight remain overnight until morning. So you didn't get that either. Uh, you may not sacrifice uh, the Pesach within any of your gates which uh, Yehovah Eloheinu gives you. But at the place where Jehovah Elihenu chooses to make his name abide, there uh, you shall sacrifice the Pesach at twilight, at the going down of the sun, at the time you came out of Egypt. And you shall roast and eat in the place which Jehovah Elihenu <coughs> chooses, and in the morning you shall turn and go to your tents. Six days you shall eat le unleavened bread, and on the seventh day uh, there is a sacred or holy assembly to Jehovah Elihenu, uh, you shall do no work. So, the instructions I am receiving from this so far is that, um, well, we get rid of, uh, rid of the uh, leaven bread from our home, and that's exactly what we're about to do. All right, are we going to get rid of all the leaven bread? Yeah! All right. Did you find out if this actually was leavened? I mean, it could be. I don't know. I mean, I don't think so, but... I mean, she's still getting rid of something. Yeah, I mean, it's like the crackers. I mean, they're kind of poofy. They're just crunchy. Here's yours. You're wearing your naughty shirt. Oh, I'm sorry. Should it's, I change? It's, it's just funny. <laughs> it's okay. It's, We're getting rid of all that. It's the softest. Oh, no, don't eat it. <laughs> Spit it out. <laughs> Spit it out. We're not eating this. Remember, that's what Daddy <laughs> said. <laughs> Daddy said they're throwing it out. You're not supposed to eat it. Um, where are the crackers? Did we eat? No, remember they're in the tornado thing. Oh, we, they're in here. You stop eating it. Look at all that. Yeah, burger bun. But we have we are doing this because we want to be good and this is going to uh, show that we want to be good. And if, you want to be good. Not the bowl, just the fruit loops. Just dump it. Very good. Yay! All right, even the little one. All together as a family. And I can have some chocolate, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. you can have some chocolate. I don't know. I mean, it does. See, there's, I don't know. The Bible only leavening. says it has leavening in it. Yes. Well, there you have it, then. Cream cheese, ew. Locust bean? L locust bean gum. Well, this will definitely make you look at what you're eating. That doesn't have to in dog food. I don't really categorize as food. Chocolate. Yay, got your chocolate. <clears throat> it 
take me forever to make a fire. Why? Because I gotta build it and then get it, you know, going, and then you gotta put that stuff on top well, of it to burn. Trash. I know. The idea is get out of your home. So huh. my point is, we can either burn it, which would take a while, or we can take it to the dump and then go to your parents. But if you burn it, you technically don't get it out of the house. This is true, unless you burn it outside. But then it says not to be on your territory, so it's still technically. Yeah, so we still need to get it off. All right, purposes. we'll we'll take it to the dump. Well, we were going to film us throwing the trash into the dumpster, but they had some hired help out there today that did it for us. So I guess you could say symbolically, you know, someone else carried our sin away. Trying to make a positive spin on it. But the point is, we got it out of our house. Right? Right.